Hi there and welcome to this week's edition of Vero News Rewind. I'm your host Debbie Carson, online editor for VeroNews.com. Let's get started with a look at this week's news. More than 370 students currently enrolled at either Sebastian River or Gifford Middle Schools could be shifted to Storm Grove Middle School next year, according to a proposal by school district staff. The plan would be to move students around to add some capacity to the two middle schools and better utilize Storm Grove. Students living in the south half of Vero Lake Estates, along with those living in the southwest part of Vero Beach and portions of South County could be affected by the rezoning if the school board approves it this spring. The much-anticipated second location for Hale Groves opened on Thursday with little fanfare but tons of customers. Hale Groves River Market is located off Miracle Mile at the corner of 7th Avenue and 22nd Street and features all the produce of the Wabasso store and then some. There's also a seafood and fresh market, a salad and soup bar, and ready-to-eat prepared foods. During season, the store will be open seven days a week. In other news, five teachers from the county's elementary, middle, and high schools have been selected as finalists for the Indian River County 2012 Teacher of the Year. The finalists are Sue DiDomizio of Highlands Elementary, Rose Brickles of Sebastian Elementary, Rachel Sarah of Vero Beach Elementary, Sandy McMahon of Gifford Middle, and Heather Holden of Vero Beach High School. And the Vero Beach City Council on Tuesday is expected to discuss removing City Attorney Charlie Vituniak as the city's legal counsel. Vice Mayor Pilar Turner has requested the discussion be placed on the council's agenda for the February 1st meeting. Casino Night at the Elks will benefit the Hibiscus Children's Center and Skeet Shooting will help the Sun Up Center. These events and many more are open to the public to watch and participate in this weekend, including art shows, gymnastics, and a family fun day at the Majestic Plaza. Make sure you get out there and have some fun. Indian River Gymnastics is offering $2 off for every A on your child's report card during Kids Night Out tonight between 6 and 10 p.m. And the Elks Lodge is hosting Viva Las Viro Casino Night to benefit the Hibiscus Children's Center. And all weekend long, the Education Foundation of Indian River County is hosting the 19th annual Indian River Regional Science and Engineering Fair, hosted by the Gifford Middle School. Judging is Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon, and public viewing is available Saturday from noon to 1. The elementary awards ceremony will be held on Sunday at Sebastian River High School Performing Arts Center. On Saturday, home cooks can stock up at the Farmer's Market Oceanside near Humston Park in Vero Beach. The Sun Up Center's 9th Annual Sporting Clay Charity Shoot, hosted by the Indian River Trap and Skeet Club in Vero Beach, begins with check-in at 8.30 a.m. And Majestic Plaza in Vero Beach will host a family fun day from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the parking lot of Vero Bowl Lanes and Lounge, with a bounce house, face painting, music, food, and more. Also Saturday, the Vero Beach Museum of Art will hold its 25th anniversary gala from 6 to 10 p.m., and the Indian River Symphonic Association will present the Philharmonic of Poland. The Vero Beach Art Club will hold its regular Art in the Park outdoor exhibit and sale from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Helmiston Park in Vero Beach, and the Vero Beach Museum of Art will host the Atlantic Classical Chamber Music Series at 4 p.m. featuring the magic of flute. The weekend wraps up with Dvorak's New World Symphony Orchestra concerts at 2 and 7 p.m. at the Vero Beach Performing Center. As always, for more information about these and other events, check out our community calendar. Well, that's it for us this week. We're always on the lookout for possible articles, so be sure to send us your news by emailing newstips at veronews.com. Follow us on Twitter and friend us on Facebook. Until next time, take care.